Hey everyone, my name is David with Skuntail Cards and Games. Today I'm going to be unboxing a Skuntail Cribbage Board and Cards board game. Um, also I have here the Skuntail Cribbage Board. Um, the difference here between the two is very subtle. One comes with the Skuntail Cribbage Cards, which um, I have made an unboxing video for, which shows the cards and gives you kind of a history behind them. So I suggest if you haven't seen that to um, go take a look at it on my YouTube channel. Um, you'll find links elsewhere on Facebook and such. I will show the cards, uh, but very, very briefly. Okay, so um, that video goes more in depth about the cards, so I suggest you take a look at that. So again here, um, this is manufactured at the Game Crafter uh, from thegamecrafter.com. And that's where you can purchase um, the Skuntail Cribbage Board and Cards uh, board game and also the uh, Skuntail Cribbage Board, okay? Just show it here to this camera so you can kind of see what you're getting when you purchase the product. It comes wrapped in plastic. You can see the plastic glowing in the light here. So it comes protected. Um, I noticed the products that the Game Crafter manufactures and sends out are very well packaged. Um, and if there's, just like any company, there'll be, you know, minor mistakes here and there with printing and whatever. Um, just the positioning of things. And they're very good at if you notice something is not up to par um, and there's a mistake, that they're very good on owning up to that and replacing the product with the, the better version. So, um... Just keep that in mind, um, not that you should experience a problem anyway. All right, so again, this is Skuntail Cribbage Board and Cards, okay? So um, let's, I'm going to go ahead and take off the plastic, and then I'm going to open it up and show you what you get and talk a little bit about the product. Okay, just going to use a knife here. Okay, so as you see here, I haven't opened it up yet, and this will be the first time that I do. Now, I have gone through a few revisions with this product, just mainly for the color of uh, how the, the colors blend with each other. And I um, think this one should probably be the final, the final product. Okay, so Skuntail Cribbage Boards and Cards. You can see here on the front of the box, it shows the pathway for um, where you'll take your pawns down the path as you... Um, peg your cribbage points all the way to the end hole there. Um, you can see here, Skunk Tail Cribbage Board and Cards has um, a graphic of some uh, cards that are in the deck, okay? And then also uh, states here, includes in box, Skunk Tail Cribbage Cards Game Board and Pegs, okay? So you get the Skunk Tail Cribbage Cards, the Game Board, and the Pegs. Now, if just in comparison, if you look at the Skuntail Cribbage Board box, which is still wrapped in plastic here, you can see at the bottom it says Game Board and Pegs Only. Skuntail Cribbage Cards sold separately. So if you already have the Skuntail Cribbage Cards, but you don't have a board, you can go ahead and purchase the board without the cards. It'll help you save a little bit on money. If you don't have the cards or the board, then you can buy the product with the cards included, okay, which helps save uh, saves on uh, shipping and handling so you don't get the cards separate and have to pay a separate shipping and handling cost. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and unbox this real quick, okay? As you can see here on the side of the box, it says Skunk Tail Cribbage Board and Cards. Flip the box around, shows it on all sides. Again, here it tells you the board cards and pegs are included in this box. I went to great lengths to make sure somebody purchasing purchasing the game because um, you see Skuntail Cribbage Board or Cribbage Board and Cards. It's fairly similar, and I don't want there to be any confusion from the consumer that they think they're getting the cards along with just getting the Cribbage Board. So make sure if you want to get the cards also, that you get the box that says Skunk Tail Cribbage Board and Cards, okay? All right, so taking off the top here, let me show you the bottom real quick. That's the Skunk Tail uh, Cards and Games icon, 
that I use for the company. You'll find that right now on all the boxes of the games at the bottom. All right, so taking off the top here, and it's a very well constructed box. It's not cheap. Um, the top comes off as you saw, just like so, and then you still have the bottom part of the box with, with the um, I'll, get, I'll call it the inner box stuck with that bottom box. Okay. Uh, right. So here we have just some wrapping paper that was in there. So it came looking like this. So again, well protected, making sure the board game you know, doesn't fly around as it's being shipped or, um, you know, actually helps maybe from any type of condensation or anything like that moisture. Okay, so that's basically how it comes. Now, when I ordered this um, from the Game Crafter, I left it without the game cards in it because I had already received the box of cards separate um, when I checked them for proofing. So there is no reason to spend the extra money included in the box. But when you get the board game and the cards, the cards will come in the box like this. Okay, so the whole box will be wrapped in plastic and inside you'll get the cribbage cards. Skunk Tail cribbage themed cards. Again, if you have not watched the unboxing video of just the cards, I implore you to do so. You'll learn about the cards, you'll get to see examples. I'll show you briefly on this video, but this is really the main, you know, point of this whole project with the Skunk Tail Cribbage cards is to make skunk-esque looking cards. So the face cards and the suits are all skunk related. And obviously, if you know the game of cribbage, skunking somebody means you beat them by a certain amount of points. So I went with that idea of a skunk and themed out the board and the cards to go along with the idea of skunks, okay? Let me just show you briefly these cards. Um, so you can watch the specific Skunk Hill Cribbage card video afterward if you haven't already seen it. But just to show you real quick here, the cards have, this is a box for the cards. That's the unique backing each card has. And then on this, uh, the box here, it shows you four new suits that I made um, to represent um, kind of the skunk theme for the cards. You have holes, which is um, like skunk holes. You have um, clubs, so that kind of goes with the normal idea of a playing card, the clubs. Um, but the, in the case of these cards, it's the shape of a bat, like a baseball bat. Um, so the idea is you're hitting a skunk to get them out of your yard. Um, there's another icon here. It's the claws. Okay, and that's obviously the skunk's claw. And then you have tomatoes, which is the old wives' tale of using tomato juice to get out the scent of skunk um, on your clothes or on your person. All right, so um, just to show you the cards real quick, more in depth. Again, they all have this same backing on all the cards. There's 54 cards in the deck. You can use, use the extra two cards as joker cards. Um, in my deck here, the extra cards are, one shows like, you know, the names of the icons, the suits. Um, so if you're playing, you're like, what's the name of that? Because it's a new thing, right? So I, I include that card that kind of tells you what the name of each suit is. and also gives credits for, you know, the artistic development of the card itself and, you know, who helped in producing that. And then the other card, the second Joker card, or the 54th card, is a story about um, how the suits came to be. You know, the whole tomato club and claws. And it's a f fantastical story about a guy who chases a skunk out of his yard. And um, the story's called, um, you know, the, the, let me look at it actually here. It's called Fool and Skunk. The story of suits. Okay, so that's what the Joker card looks like, the second one. Now, here, here's a card, the Nine of Holes. Okay, so they look like regular playing cards. Here's a face card. This is a King of Clubs. See how it looks like a skunk? Still has that, like, a uh, royal wardrobe look. Um, I didn't stray too far away from what regular playing cards look like, the common ones you find you know, in stores that all use a 
human looking king and queen and jack. I didn't stray too far away from how those, the face cards look, only for the fact that people are used to that, and I didn't want to make it so far out of normalcy of how these look that people were uncomfortable playing with these cards. I wanted it to be new, but still have that sense of familiarity. So here's a six of clubs. See how it looks like a bat? You still have the number six here for the card. You have a small icon for the bat below it. And then the icons set up in the card are exactly spaced out like they are in any other playing card you'd find anywhere else in the store or in a casino or wherever. Okay, so here is another face card. This is a queen, uh, queen of tomatoes. See, you can see the tomato up here, tomato below the Q and the Q for the queen. And you can see there's symbology going on here for skunks and the wardrobe and all that. So that's the basics of the cards. Um, again, take a look at the Skunk Tail Cribbage card unboxing video where I show the cards more in depth. Also on the Game Crafter uh, website for the cards, um, the product page for the, the cards themselves, or the, um, uh, the product for the Skunk Tail board and cards. Uh, cribbage board and cards below as you scroll down you'll see images of every single card in the deck and then you'll also see some other images of the board and such so you can also take a look there and see them up close okay so the board itself here with the cards and in, in the board it by itself so the scum tail cribbage board product and the scum scum tail cribbage board and cards product each comes with three white pegs or pawns and three black pawns. So the game board is a flat board like a regular game board. It's not like a cribbage board where it's of wood, has depth and you stick pegs into each hole. Um, the reason I didn't, that I'm not producing regular cribbage boards with um, you know the idea of putting a peg in a hole and, and that is because it's costly and to make many of them is outside the bounds of what I'm able to handle right now. So I went the, the next best step uh, financially and created a regular game board that you peg on um, with these pawns. And these can be mass produced at a cheaper price too. And actually purchased at a cheaper price. At some point I'd like to make a regular cribbage board. But for now the game board is um, what's feasible. Okay, so I'm going to show this up close. This is a black pawn. Okay, this is how it looks up close. That's a black one and then a white one. So in the game of cribbage, use pawn, two uh, pawns to go down the cribbage pathway. And the third one would be used um, for keeping score. So like the best out of three. All right. So let's take a look at the board. And put the box here to the side. Okay, so as you can see, you'll receive a board. It's folded up. It's quad folded because it's about 18 inches to 18 inches um, when you unfold it. Okay, 18 inches wide and 18 inches high. All right, so unfolding it, you can see it comes with cellophane wrapped inside this will probably to help protect the the print after it's been printed to make sure it doesn't you know stick to each other and probably when it's shipped uh, save it you know keep it protected from condensation you can keep that or you can throw it okay so this is the skunk tail cribbage board you can see the pathway bends here and it bends from the top where you start and it's marked with you know, the um, point markers of 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, so forth and so on. It's a 121 hole or claw board until you get to the end hole here. So you don't have to loop around twice. You just go through the path once. You start here and you end here. Now, what's unique about this board is, let me see if I can get that up here closer, is that 
this board has the claws to represent the holes. It has the, the, uh, the suits, all four suits are used. So you have the claws on the pathway to represent the peg holes. You have the start over here and the end hole below um, using the skunk hole suit icon. Um, at the bottom here, I'm gonna use this other camera. You have each player's, you know, best of three game um, box here. And it's using the clubs as the icon that you would peg on for best of three. And for the skunk marks here, it's using the tomato. So a skunk again, or you skunk a player, that's the marker that you have to get past to not get skunked. This is double skunk mark with, uh, on each pathway, two tomatoes. And then I added a triple skunk of three tomatoes at this point marker, okay? Now, below at the bottom of the board here, this is where you can place your crib cards for each player. One player puts theirs here, the other one puts theirs on the other side. And then once you shuffle the deck and flip up the the common card you both use. You can place the deck here in the center at the bottom of the board. And then, as you see here below, it says Skunk Tail Cribbage Board, okay? So it's set up as to be skunk themed to go along with the cards so they all match. Um, let's put some of these pegs on here just so I can show you here that everything looks like it should once the pieces are put onto the board. I have to get a close-up of this, but for now. So you would take your white pegs or your black peg and you would just move them down the board like so. And I made the icons just a little bit larger than the diameter of the pegs. So as you do this, um, you can still see the icons below the pegs just to kind of help Keep it, um, you know, neat where you're at on the board without kind of losing count or anything like that. When you get to a bend, and I'm going to take the pawns off so you can see this. When you get to one of these bends on the board, you can see right here, you would follow this line down and go back down the board this way, okay? If you're on the inside track, you would follow these clouds and then you'd go down here and go this way. All right, this is what I had to do to keep the board within the size for pawns and also make it so everything fit with all 121 icons onto the board with this certain bend. This is going to be a board it's um, right now the only board for the cribbage um, series um, that I'm doing for the company. But I'm going to call this um, variation of the board, you know, the bend, B-E-N-D. Um, I'm working on one that's um, more of a, a spiral. So there might be more than one board game path shape available at some point. But for right now, if you get the Skunk Tail Cribbage board and cards, or just a Skunk Tail Cribbage board, this is what you'll receive. At some point, you may see this product listed as the Bandit Game Path. Okay? So, it's a well-constructed board. It's solid. It's not flimsy. You can see there's thickness to the board. And um, it folds nice. It doesn't... You know, it won't allow any type of creasing because it's so thick. It's not going to separate anytime soon. I'm sure with a, enough usage or, you know, being thrown around, I guess, you know, anything can get damaged. But um, it looks pretty thick that there's not going to be any problem with that at any time treating the product in a good manner. So this is Skunktail Cribbage Board and Cards. Again, you'll receive the board. You'll receive a deck of cards. You're going to receive six pawns. It comes in a plastic bag. 
and then you'll receive it all in a fitting box where everything fits snug, okay? And then if you decide that you want to get just the cribbage board at some time, or if you want to get just the skunk tail cribbage cards, you can do so by choosing to buy just the skunk tail cribbage cards separate, or by getting the skunk tail cribbage board by itself. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is Dave with Skunk Tail Cards and Games. Again, you can find Skunk Tail Cards and Games products on thegamecrafter.com. Um, see unboxing videos, some cartoons um, on my YouTube channel, which is also Skunk Tail Cards and Games. You can go to my Facebook page and check out any posts that link to videos and such with Skunk Tail Cards and Games on my Facebook page. And there will be more board games that don't have anything to do with cribbage uh, coming out soon. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you.